Welcome to BBC World News Today. I'm Karen Giannone in London. The United Nations Security Council has adopted a resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, followed by a full Israeli withdrawal. The United States abstained. The resolution also calls for the unimpeded provision and distribution of humanitarian assistance throughout Gaza. And it urges member states to intensify their efforts to bring about the conditions to make a lasting ceasefire possible. The U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice said it was imperative to remember how the violence began, laying the blame with Hamas. Let's go live now to our correspondent Laura Trevelyan, who's at the United Nations in New York. She's been watching events uh, throughout. Uh, Laura, the resolution is passed, but how significant is that abstention by the U.S.? Now, the Red Cross has accused Israel of breaking international law in Gaza after four children were discovered starving next to the bodies of their dead mothers. And the UN has suspended some of its aid operations there, claiming one of its drivers was killed by an Israeli tank shell. Here's our Middle East editor, Jeremy Bowen. From the very beginning, his report contains some extremely distressing images of the aftermath of an attack. The events in the US uh, regarding the economy. Barack Obama has set out plans for a massive spending program by the US government and tax cuts for most American families in an attempt to stimulate the economy. Mr. Obama, who will be sworn in as president in uh, 12 days' time, blamed the current crisis on an era of what he called profound irresponsibility and said it threatened America's position of global leadership. Our North America editor Justin Webb reports. You're watching World News Today, still to come in the programme. A newspaper editor often critical of the Sri Lankan government has been shot dead in the capital, Colombo. Reports say he was attacked by gunmen on motorcycles as he drove to work. It comes three days after a private television station was attacked at Paris. This is World News Today from the BBC, the main news. An unnamed United States official is reported as saying there is every reason to believe that the chief of operations for al-Qaeda in Pakistan and his lieutenant are dead. Well, let's cross live now. An investigative panel in the American state of Illinois has recommended the impeachment of the governor, Rod Blagojevich. The latest attempt by the European Union to resolve a dispute between Russia and Ukraine that's blocked gas supplies to Europe has ended with no clear-cut outcome in a crash at the city's airport. The 23-year-old was driving the sports car through a tunnel beneath the runway when he smashed into a barrier. Judith Moritz has the details. London Zoo is carrying out its annual head count of every live animal and insect in its collection. The zoo, which is one of London's most popular attractions, is required by law to complete the tally of all creatures ranging from the very smallest spider to the largest ape. Nick Hyam reports. The past hour, our main news, the United Nations Security Council has adopted a resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, followed by a full Israeli withdrawal. The United States abstained. The resolution calls for the unimpeded provision and distribution of humanitarian assistance throughout Gaza and it urges member states to intensify their efforts to bring about the conditions to make a lasting ceasefire possible. These, the resolution says, include the prevention of illicit trafficking of arms and ammunition into Gaza. Now, the representative of the Arab UN group, the Libyan Arab Jamia said the international response didn't go far You're enough. watching World News Today. Now, in the next half hour on World News Today, World Business Report.